mercy for these days, <coughs> three weeks ago. And mm. I'm here today. So Amen. I love God. I don't take it for granted. Mm. So today we want to talk about working in righteousness. And uh, I was asking myself uh, some questions. Sometimes is it possible for somebody to be righteous? And then God was giving me some verses which are answering those questions. And I hope maybe during the next one we also be answering those questions for ourselves. And um, because uh, sometimes in the Bible says that uh, the righteousness of of, uh, of a man looks like uh, a lagged or tattered cloth, but I know our God is righteous and our God is holy. Amen. Um, I want to look at the book of Matthew, chapter number five. I go right to verses, uh, Matthew chapter number five, verse six. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And then I can go to verses 5, the same chapter. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And then I can go to uh, verses uh, 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now, these uh, three verses that I've led here are telling me that anybody who is joined to Christ, being a new creature, creature, there is what is expected of him or her. But it's just a And uh, one very important thing is walking in righteousness. Mm. Our God is holy, so we have to be holy. Mm. If we have to walk with God, then we have to be uh, to be like to be like God. In fact, we are the core a transformation. This is what we learn uh, in the book of uh, Romans, chapter number four. We are the core a transformation. We are changed so that we are able to go or to walk without God. God is righteous, and so we have to be righteous. Uh, let me just look at uh, another verse here, the book of James because it also helped me, helped me uh, to tell me that it is also possible for somebody to walk in righteousness. If you read the book of James, chapter number 5, I go to verse 17, the Bible says, Eli, uh, as, uh, Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not lay, and it lay not on the earth, by the, spa the, the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and heaven gave rain, and the earth uh, brought forth her fruit. Brethren, if any of you do err for the truth and want comforting, let him know that he which comforteth uh, the sinners from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude. Now, this one is telling us, if you go to verses 15, you read there, uh, it's it's telling us that Elijah, or Elias, as it is written in this version, uh, he was a man of God, and who prayed earnestly, and God answered his prayer. But it's just a few now, a prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Mm. So that one is telling me that it is not difficult to be righteous. It is not so difficult to walk in righteousness. Because there is one who has called you, he is holy. He will give you the power. He will give you the enablement to be what he, he is looking from you. Mm. So that you can do what God wants. Praise be to God. Um, it is easy, it is not difficult. The book of Philippians chapter number 4 verse 19 tells me, I can do all things mm. through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. We just need the strengthening of the Holy Spirit. And uh, for us to work in righteousness, we need to rely on God. We need first of all to know him so that we can trust in God. Mm. Because if you don't know God, then it is very, very hard for you to trust in him. I read that in, uh, if you read the book of Psalms, chapter number 9, uh, down there, verses 9 and 10, will tell you 
that you first of all need to know God so that you can trust in him. So if you know God, if you seek him, if you find his face, when you get to know him, the, the same same God will give you the power uh, to know him even more and you will depend on him because you know him. You will trust in him because you know him. You don't trust people just because you've seen them. Mm -hmm. You trust people uh, because you have known them for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. There is one man that walked with God for quite a long time and uh, he was no more. We read about him uh, in the book of, uh, uh, that is uh, the book of Genesis. The book of Genesis chapter number five, there is this man known as Enoch. And Enoch lived 60 and five years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah. 300 years and begat sons and daughters and all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years and Enoch walked with God and he was not for uh, he, he and he was not for God took him I want to say <coughs> if we walk with God then we have to be righteous mm. if we walk with God we have to do away with with our carnality we have to do away with our weaknesses because as we continue walking with god you'll find that god will continue giving us the strength to be able to walk with him day by day the glory of the of the lord will engulf us and we are going to be renewed mm. we are going to have power Amen. we are going to be enabled and we shall change from uh, from day by day from bad to good people. Amen. Uh, from what we read in the book of Matthews, without holiness, it is very hard for us to see God. The Bible we read also, so we need to be holy, so that we can uh, we can go to heaven, so that we can be in the kingdom of God. We can be where God shall be. I always tell people in the church that I teach that uh, we don't just meet in fellowship, we just don't just meet in, um, in our churches just for the sake of it. Mm. We are there to strengthen one another, mm. to help one another, to read the scriptures of God so that we actually try to find the face of God mm. and so that uh, we can help one another to walk, to walk in righteousness. Praise be to God. Amen. Because there are benefits when we walk in righteousness. Mm. So I'm telling you, my brothers, my sisters, let us not just meet as if it's just a, a habit of meeting, mm. just a habit, but let, is, let our meeting become a commitment to show our love to that God. Amen. Praise be to God. Mm. Now, it is very possible for us to walk in righteousness because we, we even uh, we have now seen those people the bible when we read the book of Matthew is, is talking of righteousness it's something that is paramount is a must when you look at the book of James you find that there was that man known as Elijah he was an upright man he walked in righteousness and it was possible because the bible says he is comparing us to that man he was just a man like us mm -hmm. He was not special in any way, but we could say that he was special in the way uh, he was seeking God. Mm. So if we seek God in a special way, then we are also going to be special because God is going to give us power uh, to enable us to walk in righteousness. And when we walk in righteousness, we please God. When we walk in righteousness, whatever God has, uh, has kept aside for those people who are righteous, in fact, we receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. I was looking at the scripture and I was looking at this man who walked in righteousness. And the reason as to why I'm, saying, I'm doing this, uh, maybe just to make it known to us that it is very, very possible for us to walk in righteousness. Uh, I want to look at this, uh, the book of Job. Job chapter number 
just was his one there. There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and uh, eschewed evil. Now, by looking at the example of this man, who is known as Job, we find that God himself is giving a testimony of this man. He has looked at his man. His eyes have been attracted to his man known as Job. And that is why we are having the testimony that he was a perfect and upright man. That was one thing. One thing was he was perfect. Number two, he was upright. Number three, one that feared God. And number four, uh, somebody who achieved evil. Mm. He did not like to do evil. And if you read about him, if you continue reading, reading further down, you'll find that every other day he had sons and daughters. Mm. And he used to offer sacrifices, something that we should also do. Mm. We should offer sacrifices of prayers. We should offer uh, sacrifices of every other kind that pleases God because of our children. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. And if you do that, then you'll find that we shall be doing what we are, what is required of us. And in fact, the glory of the Lord will be with us. Amen. When we do what we are supposed to do, then walking with the Lord is not a big problem. Mm. But uh, when we do what we want to do, then walking with God becomes, or walking in righteousness becomes difficult. Mm. When we do, maybe uh, to, uh, w when we do whatever we do to please others, mm -hmm. we may please others but fail to please God. Amen. So it is very, very important uh, to, f uh, to, to be where God wants you to be, and also to do what God wants you to do. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. So if you look at this man, he is somebody who suffered. But one thing that remained very clear is that he is somebody who was upright, somebody who was perfect, and somebody who, 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 who feared God. Who mm. feared God. Mm. So he was in light walking with God. And if we, uh, we walk light with God, then our God is not going to leave us. Mm. Our God is not going to, to forsake us. It does not matter the temptations that may come our way. Mm. It, does not come, it does not matter. Whatever challenges come our way, as long as we walk in righteousness, mm. as long as we walk with God, then everything will be fine. Amen. And sometimes we may, we may think that we are, we are, we are going, some, going through some challenges that are quite difficult. But as long as we are walking with that God, God is able uh, to fight our battles. Amen. He is able to move us to better grounds. He is able to work on our hearts and even make our hearts better, better hearts. Mm -hmm. You know, some challenges that we go through, they are not, they are not there uh, to make us hurt, to, to hurt us. Mm -hmm. They are not there to make us bitter people, mm -hmm. but they are there to make us better people. Amen. So sometimes we go through some challenges so that uh, whatever God has prepared for us, uh, if we are, if we are uh, entrusted with the wealth of the kingdom, we can be able to take care of it mm. because it is so precious. Mm. When, when God takes you somewhere, when God takes you somewhere up, you will be able to love those other people. You will be able even to walk with others. Mm -hmm. We will be able even to love those other people because God has done something in your heart that has changed your heart. Mm -hmm. So whatever is entrusted in your heart, you will be able to take care of it. Amen. My sister, thank God because of this church, the good church. Mm -hmm. I know where you are today. It is not where you shall be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Where you are today is tomorrow's testimony. Mm. And God is doing a new thing Amen. day by day. Mm. Praise be to God. Amen. So walking in righteousness is very, very important even in our life. Um, I just want to look at uh, why should we be righteous? I was asking myself that question. Why should we be righteous? And I think we can get some of these answers. Uh, 
the first thing I just want to look at a few of them, a few of them. Number one, the Lord is very serious. If you read the book of Psalms 129, chapter number 129, verses 4, it, it tells us that our Lord is righteous. So we have no choice. Mm. We have to change. We have to be better people. We have to pursue righteousness because our God so is a righteous person. Amen. Amen. God does not like people of a double standards. So we need to be righteous because our God is righteous. So point number two. Um, we need to use righteousness. If you read the book of Romans, chapter number one, verse 17, the Bible says that the righteous shall, shall live by faith. Mm. And sometimes we fail maybe to understand. I think now this one is telling me, this is maybe that's me with my understanding. If I'm working right with God, then I'll be able uh, to apply faith in my life mm. and in whatever I do for the better. Because the Bible says the righteous shall live by faith. Let me go to number three. The Bible says this. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. This, you, you read the book of Psalms, chapter number one, verses one. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the heart of the wicked. Now this one tells me, if I want to be blessed, if I want to, to receive the Abrahamic blessings, you know blessings, blessings will open your doors. And where blessings will take you is not where money can take you. Mm -hmm. It's not where your friend can take you. Mm. Blessings will take you to higher grounds. Mm. Blessings will go opening doors for you. Mm. Blessings will give you favor. Mm. So if you need to be blessed, then you have to do away with the favor. Mm. Maybe you can look at now point number four. If you look at the book of Isaiah, chapter number 58, verses 7 and 8. I think I think it is it is good for me to look at that. The book of Isaiah, chapter number 58. Isaiah 58. Are you there? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Isaiah chapter number 58. Verse. Verses uh, 7. Um. Uh, is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. When thou seizest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. Then shall thy right break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and the righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall, shall be there the word. Verses, yes, I, I think I can get there. I would like to say that when we are righteous, we pursue it. Righteousness can also be expensive because you'll not remain in your comfort zones. You'll not do what you think is good for you. But you'll do what the Spirit of the Lord is leading you to do. Mm -hmm. The Bible says this. The feet of the righteous are directed by God. Mm -hmm. Praise be to God. Amen. So I think feeding the hungry, doing those other things, like maybe also helping the sick people, praying for them, doing all this, there is some, uh, some light that will shine on you. Mm -hmm the glorious light from God will shine on you. And when that shines, when the, when the light of God shines on you, it changes you. You become a different person. Yeah. You start healing God. You start uh, doing things in a, different, in a different way that people may not even understand because uh, the righteousness of uh, the, the, that righteousness of God or the light of God is upon you. Yeah. And you can also do other things, great things. Because the power of God is upon you. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. So I think maybe that other other reason is uh, very, very important why we should uh, 
uh, be righteous we should uh, actually try to, to 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 work it out because god uh, will always be with us and he is going to stand with us he is going to fight for us so it is easy as we have seen that previously there were people like job they were righteous people there was james james was also righteous and uh, we also we have also looked at enoch who was also uh, righteous he walked with god and he was no more because god loved people who are righteous mm. god loved people who are humble god loved people who are fear uh, god fearing this one reminds me somebody known as who the coronary mm -hmm. we read about him in the book of acts chapter number 10 that he is somebody who was prayerful that he is somebody who was generous mm. that he was somebody who feared god those three aspects are very, very important. Mm. And they're telling us that this man was loved by God. And this, is what this, this tells us that if we fear God, then God will be with us. Mm. If we fear God, then God will walk with us. Amen. And uh, the other thing is uh, we need also to be generous. And that is what we have read in the book of Isaiah chapter number 58, mm. that we need to be generous. We need to care about those other people we need those other people need to see jesus in you by the way you are doing uh, you are doing jesus mm. how, how 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 are you making christ known mm. uh, to those other people through you it is by doing good deeds by being humble talking well to those people valuing them mm. showing them love and even being generous mm. that is also very 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 important mm. then uh, point number Five, let me look at this point number five. We read the book of uh, Revelation, chapter number 22, verses 15. You all of us want to go to heaven, I'm sure. Yeah, and I also want to go to heaven. <laughs> I don't want just to be reading the Bible, I just do, I, I, uh, and uh, I fail to go to heaven. I don't, uh, maybe I can also be generous. And if I'm not working like with God, then I won't go to heaven. Mm -hmm. So our business or my business is after I have completed my assignment. Because I believe that each and every person has an assignment in this world. Mm -hmm. I believe that uh, every other person, you don't just come like that. Mm -hmm. You came to accomplish what God wanted you to do. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have an assignment, it is better you start finding it now. <laughs> yeah. Get to know what assignment in mm. this world is. I know my assignment, mm -hmm. and I thank God for that. I will, and this is why I believe. I went after I complete my assignment because I believe everybody has a seed of greatness in himself. Mm. And when you align yourself with the Holy Spirit, when you release yourself to be used of the Holy Spirit, and uh, that is by looking, you you have to to do away with any other thing that uh, makes the Holy Spirit run away from you and that one you can only move with the holy spirit if you are righteous mm. and uh so after you complete the work then you, should, you need to be where god will be it does not matter whether the heaven will come here or go up <laughs> that one is not an issue to me but uh, i would like to be where god will be amen can we just look at uh, uh, revelation chapter number 22 verses 15 so that uh, we may see what is telling us today Verses 15, uh, this, this is another reason why we should be righteous. Uh, verses 15, for without, uh, for without are dogs and sorcerers and whole mongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Now, that one is telling us what I've read in uh, that verse if i do them i don't qualify to be a richer person mm -hmm. so now this one is telling me that uh, if i walk uh, with those things that i've mentioned there then i'm not a richer person and i'm not doing what god wants want me to do so if i want to go to heaven then i need not uh, be a sorcerer that is what i was saying and hormone a murderer Idolatra, and whosoever often and maketh a right. Then, verse 16 says, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the church. I am the root and the offspring of David, 
as the bright morning star. Mm. Now, we know that Jesus is coming soon. Mm. We read that in, uh, in uh, Revelation chapter number 7. Behold, I, I, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of the book. And if God comes back, he will have to rule at your heart. And there is nothing we can hide from him. Mm -hmm. So we need to be righteous. We need to walk uh, upright. We need to be upright. We need to fear God. We need to walk according to the will of God. And then every other thing will be okay. What is as if we Now, uh, when I was talking, uh, when, when I was thinking about uh, this, uh, this message, God gave me the word in uh, Matthew chapter number 16, uh, verses 18. Matthew 16, I don't know whether we have time. Yes. We have time? Yeah, yeah we can go to Matthew chapter number 16. Matthew 16. When I was asking myself, what should, why is this message of righteousness? Why should uh, we do, why should, uh, why, 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 what, what does God want? And then God gave me this scripture, uh, that is Matthew chapter number 16, verse 17, uh, or verse 18. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, God wants to make a church, a powerful church. God make, you know, sometimes we make our own churches. Our friends, sometimes they try to redesign the type of church maybe they should, uh, they should visit or the type of churches that we should make we pastors. But God wants to make his own church. Mm -hmm. God is looking for materials of making his own church, not the, the natural materials that we find on earth. The materials he's looking for making his church is our heart. Amen. And that is why our hearts should be righteous, so that God can use those materials to make churches that cannot, that the powers of darkness cannot prevail. So we need to be righteous because God wants to do that and then after god gave me this because god is preparing you know god is preparing to come back mm. jesus is coming back to take his church and he's going to take a church that has no blemish so we need to continue sanctifying ourselves so that um, uh, miracles wonders other things can also come back to our churches mm. praise be to god Amen. and uh, after this god gave me another verse in the Ephesians chapter number uh, chapter number five, the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter number five, mm, verses ten. The Bible says, and yeah, that is Ephesians chapter number five, verses ten. The Bible says, providing what is acceptable unto the Lord. First of all, God had had given me that scripture. God is preparing a church because of His coming back. And then he took me to this this scripture, providing what is acceptable unto the Lord. Now this one tells me that there are things that are not acceptable mm. to the Lord. And if you want to be where God will be, if you want to walk with him, if you want to please God, then you have to look for these things. Mm -hmm. That is telling me that I should be somebody who, who fears God. I should some, be somebody who should be devoted in prayers, mm -hmm. reading the Bible, and not only reading the Bible, but believing what is written in the Bible, mm -hmm. and also doing what is uh, what is the Bible, not just reading the Word, but doing the Word. Mm -hmm. I am compelled, I, I am conv uh, co co convicted in my heart that I should be somebody who should read the Word of God, believe the Word of God, and do the Word of God, mm -hmm. to be acceptable. That is, uh, these are things that should be acceptable to God. And there, there are so many things. The other thing is loving your neighbors. We should love our neighbors. We should share whatever we have with our neighbors. These are deeds, our acts, that are good before our Lord, that will make, uh, uh, that will make it easy for us to walk with, uh, with the Lord. Mm. Because uh, our message today is walking in 
righteousness. Amen. God is looking for those people who are upright. Mm. God is looking for those people who are God fearing. God is looking for those people who are prayerful. Those people who are going to commune with Him. Those people who are going to have that intimacy mm. with, him, with Him. Those people who just want to dwell in the presence of God. Mm. And you cannot dwell in the presence of God if you are not right with Him. If you are not walking according to His will. Praise be to God. Amen. Now, having looked at that because uh, I'm seeing the, the reason as to why God is uh, wanted us to or want us to be righteous because he's coming back out for his church the other day uh, we have to look for what is right with God so that uh, he can be with us now I was asking myself what should I do if I want to be to, to walk with God what should I do if I want to walk in his life and uh, I came up with a few points. Number one is to decide. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I should do is I need to decide that in my heart that I'm going to be righteous. You know, sometimes when you think of Joseph of the Bible, you know, this the story of Joseph who was the prime minister in Egypt, he had decided that. He could not commit adultery, he could not uh, fornicate or commit adultery with, uh, with, uh, with Potiphar's wife because he had decided that. The, the first thing that is very, very important is decision. Because uh, before you, you do, whatever you do, it will have to pass through the mind. Mm -hmm. And then if it uh, passes through the mind, if you don't pull it down, then it is going to remain in the mind and it will start uh, bearing fruit. Mm -hmm. And then you find yourself doing what, what is not right with God. So the, the, the first thing that is very, very important is decision. Number two, determination. Determination. The determination will keep you strong. It will keep encouraging you. And it will also see that you pull all the courage so that you don't do what you don't like against your God. Determination is very, very important. Then number three is discipline. Mm. God loves those people who are disciplined. Mm. Those people, if you say this is what, this is my boundary. Whatever the circumstances, you don't cause the boundary mm -hmm. because your discipline is restricting you mm -hmm. uh, or it is confining you to that other area. Amen. You don't cause the boundary mm -hmm. and find yourself somewhere where you're not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Be where God was, would like you to be. Do what God would like you to do. Talk what God would like you to do. Talk. Mm -hmm. Do what God would like you to do. Then the other thing is, uh, point number three is disconnect. If you want to be righteous, you need to disconnect with yourself with unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. Any other person that is not adding any, any value that may lead you to be righteous, mm -hmm. you disconnect yourself. Amen. Sometimes it, 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 it may cost you, sometimes it may not cost you anything, but disconnect is very, very, very important. The Bible says that you cannot serve two masters. Mm -hmm. The thing is, if somebody tells you to do something, just ask yourself, Am I doing the right thing? Am I supposed to be there? Mm -hmm. What is my God? What are you saying about this? And then if you are spending much time with God in prayers, uh, God will always guide you. He guides the feet yeah. of the righteous. Amen. When I feel it. Amen. So you need to disconnect yourself. Now, when you disconnect yourself with the world, because uh, you need uh, no, you need uh, to be to give to release yourself to the Holy Spirit so that uh, you can uh, undergo transformation. After that now comes the other point, divine connection. You need to connect yourself with God. Mm. Divine connection is very, very important. And it is only when you divine, when you are connected in a divine manner with your maker, that God will give you direction. Mm -hmm. You'll get direction. Mm -hmm. And you see, when you have the right direction of where you are going, in fact, you are sure that you'll get your destination. You know, I have never come to this place and I was wondering where I was going. The man who was taking me here asked me whether I've been here before. I didn't know. I did not know. But I thank God because I was headed for the right direction. Mm -hmm. And this was my destination. Mm -hmm. So when he came and he, uh, he put his vehicle there, he, asked, he told me this, this is the place. And I felt we are now at the right place. Mm -hmm. Praise be to God. Amen. We only get our direction if we are connected to God. 
God, if you are connected to God, then we are, we are safe. Mm. Praise be to God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it is good for us to choose to be connected to God. Because if you don't connect yourself to God, there is a devil who will connect with you. So it is better to connect with God than the devil. Mm. The devil has nothing <laughs> for free. Mm -hmm. His mission is only three. Mm -hmm. Kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said that he came so that he can have what? Life and have more abundance or more in abundance mm -hmm. now once we are headed for the right direction then we shall get to to the right place the the word of god says that uh, the bible says the word of god is the light to my feet so if you allow yourself to be guided by the word of god you will always get to the right place then point number seven this one is the last place you will get your destination you will only get your destination if you decide if you are determined if you are disciplined if you disconnect yourself if you divide connect yourself with god if you're headed for the right direction that is where you'll get to your destination maybe just to finish up yeah there are benefits of righteousness if you read the book of job 22 i know my time is up Job 22, verses 25. I just want to go a few things there, very fast. Maybe you can read on your own because of time. Um, the Bible says, God will be your sin far and gold. That is one thing, that is one benefit of righteousness. Uh, Job 22, verses 25. The other thing is joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The book of Philippians chapter number 4, verses 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord that again is here rejoice. Mm. You don't rejoice because of money. You don't rejoice because you are, you are, you are, you are maybe important or, what, or whatever. Or you are not important or you are poor. You rejoice because the glory of the Lord is shining upon you. Mm. You've been transformed. You are connected with God. You can always be happy because God is with you. Then the other thing is you have your prayer answered. That's point number three. Your prayer is answered if you are walking righteous with God. You remember when we read the book of James chapter, chapter number five, uh, and uh, the Bible was telling us that uh, this man, James, was a man like us. And he prayed honestly that it's not laying, and then again he prayed that it is laying, that it, it, it laid. The Bible says that uh, when it was the book of James, that the power, the prayer of a powerful person is uh, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful mm. and effective. Mm. Two things that are very important: mm. powerful and effective. Mm. And that is what we are looking. We are looking for power. Mm. We are looking for effectiveness. Mm. When power, when there is power and effectiveness of prayer, that is when signs and wonders performed in our lives and we glorify our God. Mm. We become also a blessing to other people. Mm. Then the other one is uh, we succeed in all you do. Yes, I was reading about J Joseph sometimes back and the Bible told me and also about David. J David succeeded in all his battles because the Lord was with him. And you remember even this man known as Saul. Saul told uh, uh, he told David when David gave the testimony of how he had killed the bear, how he killed the lion. Then Joseph told him, I mean, the Saul told, uh, told David, go and may God be with you. Mm. May your Lord be with you. That is the best prayer one can say about you. Mm. Because when the Lord is with you, everything is in control. Mm. Everything is okay. Mm. All, battle is, all battles are won. Mm. Then if you read about Joseph, the Bible says that he also succeeded in everything he did because the Lord was with him. Mm -hmm. I won't tell you the Lord cannot be with somebody who is not righteous. We need to be righteous so that the Lord can be with us mm -hmm. and so that, so that we can also succeed in everything that we do. Mm -hmm. And then the last one, uh, you are rescued. God has rescued his people. God has rescued righteous people because... There is that connection. There is that love. His eyes are always at those people who are righteous. All those people who are doing the right thing. So God will not allow 
the enemy to get to your heart. In fact, he told the he told his man, he told the devil, do not touch the man, or do not touch the heart of Job. So God will not allow. So we need to be to be righteous, so that uh, we can also enjoy those benefits. Thank you very much. Can you pray? Our God and our Father, we want to thank you. We humble ourselves before thy presence. Thank you, Father God, even because of the word. We are humbled, oh Heavenly Father. Continue, Jehovah God, energizing our spirits. Continue, Jehovah God, giving us, O King of Glory, all what we require, O King of Glory, from you, so that we can walk in righteousness. Jehovah God, we ask him for your forgiveness, O King of Glory, for whatever long we have done, O Jehovah God. We commit ourselves and pay our hands, O King of Glory. Continue being with us, O Jehovah God. Thank you, King of Glory, because of your great love. Thank you, Jehovah God, even because of this praise. Thank you, King of Glory, because of each and every man in this meeting and every other woman, Jehovah God, and even the young ones in this praise, O King of Glory. As you continue to help us, O King of Glory, walk in righteousness. We commit, still, we, we still commit this day unto your hands. We commit our lives, O King of Glory, our minds, our souls, and our spirits, O Heavenly Father, and unto your hands, O Jehovah God. Thank you, Father God, because whatever plan you have for, for us, O Heavenly Father, we want to thank you and glorify your name for it in Jesus' name. We pray and believe. Amen. 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 Let's appreciate the man of God. The Amen. Amen. Are you blessed? Yes. yes. Amen. And because we are, we are a church that learns and take notes and we want to be effective and implement the word, uh, what should we do to walk in righteousness? Should decide. decide determination discipline disconnect, disconnect divine connection divine connection then you will get to your destination and get to our destination yeah. amazing we were paying attention we were listening yeah. we were learning and thank you so much uh, isn't he a wonderful teacher yes very calm very <laughs> step by step and we have really got it uh -huh. may the lord help us to walk in righteousness we have been praying and it has been our desire that the lord is going to use us in this generation to manifest his will and to manifest his glory and he has given us an answer today for us to see that we have to walk in righteousness amen amen, amen. righteousness is a must righteousness is a requirement and may the lord god bless you so much thank you so much bishop uh, for allowing the Lord to use you. Thank you for being with us today. We are very much honored. And we want to send you with greetings as you go back to Kenya. Are we sending you with greetings? Yeah. Yes, receive our greetings from Glorious Power Church. Uh, greet those people and tell them that you found believers who love the Lord. Amen. 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 Are we ready to give our offerings? Amen. Let's be ready to give our offerings and the Lord is going to bless us. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for that offering before we give in Jesus' name. Uh, hold that offering and then we're going to pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the seeds that we are giving today, O oh Lord. We declare in the name of Jesus that each seed we give, Lord, it's going to come back a harvest, 30 fold, 60 fold, and 100 fold for your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for those that are giving their tithes, oh Lord. We thank you because you're going to rebuke the devourer. You're going to open the windows of heaven and rain a blessing until they have no place to keep it in Jesus' name. We give you glory, Lord, even for being with us this, throughout this service. We declare your blessing upon us the whole of this week. We declare our going out and our coming in is blessed in the name of Jesus. We declare the works of our hands are blessed. And wherever we are going to be, Lord, this week, we are going to manifest your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and we give thanks. Amen. 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 May the Lord God bless you as we give our offerings. Open my eyes and look at the Lord. I have 